How's it going everyone and welcome to Form Our Ranch. Now today I got a pair of dirty guns fresh off the range that I'm going to be trying to clean with some shooter lube. I've seen a little bit of shooter's lube uh, buzz in the social media feeds lately as well as different places on the internet and allegedly they have a military grade cleaning solvent and lubricating oil but what makes them special or their claim to fame is that it's odorless, it doesn't use any water and that not only does it coat metal but their oil will actually go into the pores of metal so that it doesn't evaporate off, it doesn't rub off easily, it forever stays there lubricating and protecting your guns. So let's go ahead and put it to the test. Like I said, I got some dirty guns. Let's see how well it cleans my firearms today. But first things first, whenever it's time to clean some guns, you just have to get into the right mood. Whoops, sorry, forgot this one's for YouTube. Let's go ahead and break these guns down and start cleaning them. Okay, so without making this a 20 minute long video of me simply just cleaning my guns, there's a couple of key features I wanted to look at in terms of how the shooter lube will perform. So um, I'll point out a couple. For example, I have a little bit of surface rust forming on the exposed steel sights on this SIG pistol, as well as this uh, Magwell flare. Um, Additionally, I have a lot of carbon buildup on the Surefire weapon light I have on this AR pistol. If you run weapon lights on your guns, you're probably more than familiar with this. So I'm kind of curious to see how well the Shooter Lube Stage 1 solvent will do to break that all down. And of course, we'll kind of take a look at some different basic areas that have carbon buildup on these two firearms and see how well the Shooter Lube Stage 1 solvent does against that. So again, this is their Stage 1. This is what you're actually going to use to clean the gun. And their claim to fame on this is the fact that it doesn't smell, it doesn't use water, it is completely environmentally friendly, and it's supposed to be some pretty good stuff from what I've seen on the internet hype. So only one way to find out, we're gonna go ahead and use that, followed by the Shooter Lube Stage 2, which is gonna be their oil and lubricant, and their claim to fame on this is that this oil actually penetrates the pores in the metal itself, so your guns stay lubed longer and more reliably, and it doesn't, or is not supposed to be affected by your firearms heating up. In fact, that'll only open the pores up further and keep it lubed up even longer. So only one way to find out on that. I will pin a comment below to keep you guys updated on how well this is working over time. Obviously, I'm not gonna be able to shoot the guns in my house today. Um, that being said, I will definitely follow up with you guys on their stage two. So let's go ahead and I guess we'll start with the pistol or the smaller pistol technically first and see how well we can break down some of the surface rust. Now when I clean my guns, I just use paper towels, nothing extraordinarily fancy. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of wet this paper towel down. Bear with me guys, cause it's kind of difficult to film yourself doing this kind of stuff. And I just wanna see how well we'll get that rust. So you see it is coming off on this paper towel and it was really, really coated in rust. And so far it seems to be coming right off. As best I can show you guys, I'll try to dry this off, but it pretty much entirely came off and looks brand new again. So it can definitely break down some rust. That's obvious on your end, but looks pretty much brand new again. And this was completely covered in rust. Got a little bit more on this mag flare. Not sure how well this is going to show up on camera, but there's some pretty good rust going there as well. Which is kind of surprising that the surface finish on this SIG pistol isn't really holding up to the elements. There you can see how much rust came off there. And from what I can tell, try to dry it off, but it looks pretty good again. So pretty much came right off on that as well. So now, like I said, what I'm really interested to see is how well it's going to break down this carbon buildup on this Surefire light. So, I mean, it is even the front lens all around. This, this light has seen hundreds and hundreds of nasty steel case rounds coming right out of this SIG muzzle brake. So only one way to find out, I'll just give it a nice healthy coat. Let some go on that front lens. And we'll grab a fresh paper towel and see how much this carbon buildup is gonna start coming off. 
Wow. It almost seems like it's just breaking it right down to the anodizing. This front lens. That front lens is nice and shiny again. Not sure how well you'll be able to tell on your end. But that looks really good and that was just one little spray. So I'll go ahead and give it some more. I mean, this is absolutely caked. I mean, look at that mount. It's definitely been uh, neglected in terms of any kind of cleaning or love. <laughs> Just coming straight off. And this is also, this is kind of like a matte finish. So the carbon can definitely cling to this more so than a really smooth surface. The fact that it's coming off like it is, I am honestly pretty impressed. I didn't think it would work this well. And this is just a real quick once over. So hopefully you can tell with this area where I put in a little extra work, the surface is almost entirely clean. Um, obviously, you know, here's kind of what it looked like before versus the side that I've been scrubbing on just a little bit. So I, again, I'm pretty impressed. Let's see if we can uh, clean up the Surefire logo a little bit. And then we'll move on again. I don't wanna make you sit here for 10 minutes watching me clean a flashlight. I just wanted to test, honestly, more for my own curiosity and see how well this stuff can clean even the worst case scenario surfaces. coming right off. I mean, this was absolutely caked in carbon. Again, here's the other side, just for reference, versus the side I've been kind of scrubbing on. So it's coming off. Uh, this will take a little bit more time, obviously, just given the nature of it. But uh, as you can see, it is coming off the, the Surefire light, even though it's kind of a matte finish and not as smooth as other finishes. So just to satisfy my own curiosity, I wanted to see if it was even possible to start cleaning this thing up, and it looks like it is. So let's go ahead and move on to the next item. Now, I don't know how well you're gonna be able to see this, but this upper is absolutely caked in carbon. I intentionally have not been cleaning this just so I could test out the Shooter Lube Stage 1 on this upper. So, intentionally neglecting it, but let's see what happens. So I'll just give it a nice, healthy spray inside. Take another paper towel. And I will say I'm in a very small space where I film these videos and uh, it's not smelling, the odor is not uh, detectable. It's not overwhelming me in any way. It's actually uh, pretty comfortable. I am doing this indoors. So, I mean, it's so far just stripping everything off that paper towel comes into contact with that has the Shooter Lube Stage 1 on. Now hopefully you can see this after just a few swipes. Obviously it needs uh, me to kind of get more into the, the small details, but just as a general test, wiped right off this receiver that was completely caked in carbon came right off, no issues. Okay, so I'll do a quick spot clean to the SIG as well. So I didn't even realize my gun was this dirty, but it's just taking all this crap right off. I knew it needed to get cleaned, but I had no idea there was this much buildup. So now that we have a, a nice clean handgun here, the next thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is use the Shooter Lube Stage 2. Now, it comes with this pretty standard um, top here, but what's really cool, they also offer these essentially needle tops. So you can really finely apply the lube wherever you want it to go rather than being wasteful and it getting all over the place and making a mess so now the really cool thing like i said is i can nice and precisely apply just ever so much 
of that lube where I want it to go instead of all over the place and getting it everywhere. So I think the needle applicator that they offer is a nice touch and definitely worth adding on. And it feels nice and smooth. And of course, if you ever wanna, you know, add anything additional, then you easily can access the inside of your gun. If you feel like your slide's getting just a little bit dry, you can always add more. And it makes it nice and smooth and it should last the test of time, but I will be sure to update you guys. Now, one thing that I'm noticing is that the slide almost appears to be a slightly different color than it was before cleaning. And what I'm thinking is this is the first time I've ever seen the slide return to this normal state, just like it was brand new out of the box where all the surface impurities and carbon have been completely stripped away. And this is the slide without any of those impurities. So this gun looks almost brand new again, and it feels good. Stripped away all the carbon, I mean, and just the quick examples I showed you without going overboard and cleaning every little thing on these guns, it stripped everything essentially that the stage one shooter lube touched, just took a paper towel and it completely cleaned up. So anyways, hopefully you found this somewhat useful. If you're on the market for a good gun cleaning solvent and lubricant, I highly recommend the Shooter Lube line of not only solvent, but oils. So again, it's a two part system, stage one and stage two. I highly recommend both. If you wanna save yourself some money on this, you can use discount code 4MR. Now, full disclosure, Shooter Lube did approach me asking if I'd be interested in showcasing what their product does. And for those that did not already know, Here's some of my personally owned bottles that I was already using before they sent me some of these to again showcase for you guys. So I only advocate things that I would use for myself and this is one thing that I've already been using for myself. So again, if you wanna save some money for yourself, um, use discount code 4MAR, highly recommend this stuff. This is what I've been using for a while now. And as you saw in the quick demos, it absolutely strips away any carbon or surface impurities that it comes into contact with. So. Other than that, guys, I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video, and as always, have a good one.